John, as corporate energy manager in North America, needs to reduce his company's overall energy costs by 3 to 5 percent in a year. To get started, he needs a comprehensive view of the energy costs and consumption across all his facilities. One quick way to identify inefficiencies is to benchmark, that is, to compare the energy intensity of his assets and processes by energy time, which are normalized by the right factor of comparison. To do so, John launches the SAP Energy Management System. He can view a dashboard of both actual and planned energy costs, consumption and emissions. He notices that the energy intensity at both Austin and Corpus Christi is very high compared to other facilities, so he notifies Mary and Michael, the respective site energy managers, to investigate the cause. A common reason for high energy costs is loss of asset efficiency over time, for example, degrading pressure per kilowatt hour in pumps. Hence, a second quick way to save on energy is by proactively maintaining assets' performance so their energy efficiency is maximized. Let's see how Mary, the Austin Energy Manager, identifies such assets. On receiving John's note, she goes into the SAP system. In the Energy Dashboard, she drills down into the Relative Energy Intensity data of Austin and Bakersfield. She first notes little change in the energy consumption of the Austin boilers between August and September but realizes they are a lot higher in Austin than in Bakersfield. For further analysis, she drills down into the equipment level data. She runs the consumption profile report for a boiler's circulation pump 1. She observes that the electricity consumption is, surprisingly, as high on a Saturday as it is on a weekday, particularly on September 10th. To verify the pump's use on September 10th, a Saturday, she runs the correlation report of energy consumed versus the water flow and finds a significant divergence. She next views the maintenance report in SAP plant maintenance directly from her energy management system and finds that service on the pump is long overdue. She notifies the department to look into it and schedules a monthly maintenance for this aging asset. A third quick way to reduce energy costs is by identifying waste. A common example is unexpectedly high consumption in idle states. Here, actual consumption can be 30 to 50 percent higher. Or another example is when two assets, for example chillers, are being unnecessarily run at much lower loads than capacity. Michael, the facility manager at Corpus Christi, identifies such waste at his facility by doing his own due diligence in the SAP system. He drills down into the consumption data of his energy-intensive assets. He finds no inconsistencies in the monthly values for the chillers. He next runs the operating parameters for the loads on the chillers for the last month. He notes that chiller 1 is running at a max load of 91 tons, despite its capacity of 200 tons. He finds it's the same case with Chiller 2. As such, despite the consistency in their energy consumption over time, the chillers are being underutilized, wasting energy. He notifies his team to consider shutting down one of the chillers. A fourth quick way to reduce energy costs is by modifying behavior to shift energy-intensive activities or processes to off-peak hours. A common example is the untimely start and shutdown of a production line, spiking utility rates. Let's see how John, the corporate energy manager, and his controller, Sarah, identify unnecessary peak charges. He points out to Sarah the higher cost per production unit at Austin than at Bakersfield and drills down into the details. They notice that while Austin produces only 500 tons more, the respective energy consumption and cost intensity are both much higher. They first review the energy costs at both sites and verify no difference in the prices of electricity and natural gas. They next run the electricity load profile report and find many peaks in consumption between 0600 and 1800, the period of highest rates. To investigate the distribution of the peaks, they run the peak analysis report. They discover unexpected peaks on Saturdays, particularly during the lunch hours. They suspect activities with good intent to save on time, 
but with a high toll on energy costs. They alert Mary to investigate further. With comprehensive information on the energy costs and consumption, John and his team are able to reduce the energy costs by 3 to 5% in the first 12 months by benchmarking to identify inefficiencies, maintaining assets for optimal operation, identifying waste, modifying behavior.